Honesty, right? So I would say the most important uh, aspect of you know when you're talking about business succession planning or exit planning, when you're working with business owners, I mean, let's be honest, many of you that are watching this video are uh, very accustomed to people agreeing with what you say because you pay them. Uh, so the independent perspective and the accountability and the ability to politely and professionally press you for an answer uh, and, and really not let you kind of wiggle off the hook, so to speak, because the consequences of doing that are so, can be so expensive and so detrimental. So um, we really have to be open and honest with our clients. And I personally just I have enough kind of gray hairs and, or no hairs actually um, to, to be able to say, look, I, I don't mean to offend you, but I heard you say this, but yet we're doing this. Can you help me understand that, right? And for sometimes that's the first time that, 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 that ever, ever, you know, anyone has ever asked them that tough question, right? Because they're used to just, I mean, they're the boss, right? He or she's the boss and their employees aren't going to challenge them. But, you know, a good advisor is going to, you know, look them in the eye and say, you know, I'm not buying that and let's circle back on that or I need you to really tell me more there. Um, and it can be uncomfortable, particularly when you're dealing with business dynamics, whether it's key employees, but most specifically about children, children that are in the business, children that may not be in the business, uh, perhaps a second marriage, uh, special needs child, etc. So these are very, very uh, sensitive issues that you need to tread lightly on but they need to be kind of brushed to the surface so that we can build a plan that really gives the business owner and their family the greatest opportunity to be successful to transition out of their business.